1991, the World Health Organization acknowledged that the predominant source of human exposure to mercury is from your fillings. What you're seeing is mercury vapor coming off a 25-year-old silver amalgam filling in an extracted tooth. The background is a phosphorescent screen. The mercury vapor absorbs the fluorescent light and you can see it as a shadow on the screen. In a class that I teach at the University of Kentucky called Mercury Science and Politics, I have the students do the same experiment as you see in that smoking tube video. We use a fluorescent screen, an amalgam filling made outside the mouth, and a UV lamp. And we turn, we turn off the lights in the classroom. I have the students do this with their own hands. And they hold the amalgam in front of the uh, fluorescent screen, and they see this vapor coming off. And we tell them that's mercury. And the way we establish that it's mercury is that we use a mercury vapor sniffer, and we take it up to the amalgam tooth and take a sample, and it shows that that is indeed mercury that is the vapor coming off. We then have the students take a toothbrush, a store-bought toothbrush, and they brush that amalgam filling for 30 seconds as if they were brushing their teeth. And they pull it away, and they look, and indeed, the amount of mercury vapor coming off is, has increased dramatically. Again, we use the mercury vapor sniffer. We take an analysis of that vapor, and what it shows is that the mercury uh, vapor coming off of that tooth has gone up about tenfold. 